David Maisel is an aerial photographer that focuses on x-rays depicting sculptures, paintings, autographs, and our everyday environment surrounding us. The materials that he mostly worked with are x-rays, unnatural colors from his American Mind project, acidic greens, fluorescent greens, and bright aquas. He mostly worked with photographs and x-rays that would show the environment surrounding us such as pit mines, urban sprawl, and water projects. The main idea behind his work is that he wants to respond to the impact humans can have on the earth, whether it would be a positive or negative thing. He shows his ideas by taking photographs of the mapping of environmentally impacting areas or photographs of abandoned areas. An example of this would be in his piece called The Forest. An example of this would be in his piece called The Forest, in which he showed abandoned log flows. Some projects of his that has an influence on him to shed light on through his photographs are such as World War II, LA, and many others. He would often do aerial shots of certain places that were once abandoned and abstracted them. Another example of this would be in his Black Maps projects, where he would include images of pit mines, military testing, and urban sprawl, and came from the influence of another artist because of his inspiration of his earthworks. In the upcoming video, he talks about how he discovered using x-rays in his work. And so I started hanging out in the painting conservation lab. And it was, to my surprise, really kind of a magical environment. And then one day, I walked into the painting conservation lab, and taped up to the window was this enormous x-ray of a painting, as it turned out. And it was so thrilling and alive. It looked like a Franz Klein abstract expressionist drawing. And there was this incredible disconnect between the painting and the x-ray that was derived from it. That was a kind of spark for me. Then I became like a detective. I thought, what is this x-ray and how is it made and why is it made and what are the purposes for it and are there other x-rays here at the Getty? And in fact, there were many other x-rays in various departments. And so I began to explore them and it was a kind of revelation for me. And what the x-ray does is it maps the interior and the exterior together, the front and the back. And so it's quite an unusual way of rendering space. I mean, photography renders surfaces. X-rays render inside and outside and, and, and sort of meld them together. So I really put most of my focus into looking at x-rays of artwork from antiquity. It was really... Identifying qualities of his work are using the environment in his x-ray photographs, taking photos of abandoned locations, and also using unnatural colors to show the landscapes in a different light. How the artist's work changed over time is by using different landscapes in his work to show the framing of the issues of contemporary measurement. He has always taken aerial photographs of landscapes, but has now worked on also x-rays of people in his work, in which he states that it's a representation of art, time, and technology. The connections that you can make to his projects are, of course, how humans can influence the environment negatively or positively. These examples can include pollution or loitering. Another connection that you can make is by appreciating Earth more, by looking at his aerial photographs to show the Earth's landscapes and why you shouldn't damage it. Uh, lastly, by showing that x-rays and photographs can be of art form. What I found most interesting about his work was his aerial photographs of vacant locations. These types of photos can easily set the tone of what this photograph would be about, which would usually be about the environment and the different landscapes of Earth. What I also found interesting is using x-rays on landscapes to show a different tone of the photo and abstract them. An example of this would be in this art piece title Proving Ground. In this piece, he took photographs of Dugway Proving Ground, which is a classified site that covers 800,000 acres in a region of Great Salt Lake Desert. This region is devoted to the development and the testing of chemical weapons and defense systems. David was given access to photograph the site and the testing facilities. He then adds his own twist by abstracting everything until a city appears post-apocalyptic, which is sometimes the theme of his work. Have stated that his work is a kind of contemplation that turns into a surprise and then into a shock. He continues to spread awareness through his aerial photographs on the environment on different locations.